Hello, my name is Dr. Logan Schneider. I am pleased to summarize our manuscript titled Long-Term Treatment of Narcolepsy and Idiopathic Hypersomnia with Low Sodium Oxybate. Narcolepsy and idiopathic hypersomnia are chronic and potentially lifelong disorders that are characterized by excessive daytime sleepiness. They negatively impact alertness, mental and physical energy, functioning, and quality of life. Low sodium oxybate, also called LXB, is an alternative to sodium oxybate, which is a treatment for narcolepsy. LXB contains 92% less sodium than sodium oxybate, but has the same active moiety. LXB is approved in the United States for the treatment of cataplexy or excessive daytime sleepiness in patients seven years of age or older with narcolepsy, and for the treatment of idiopathic hypersomnia in adults. Although LXB does not have treatment data beyond approximately one year, there are several potential long-term benefits of LXB treatment. For example, LXB dosing can be individualized over the long-term as a patient's life circumstances change. LXB is taken twice nightly for narcolepsy or once or twice nightly for idiopathic hypersomnia at a dose based on patient characteristics, response, and tolerability. Furthermore, early effective treatment may have particular benefits. Improvements in functioning and quality of life with LXB treatment could have cascading positive effects in multiple domains, particularly in younger patients with narcolepsy. Treatment of children and adolescents forms part of a continuum of care over the course of a potentially lifelong disease. In addition, LXB is associated with weight loss in both narcolepsy, in which obesity is a well-established comorbidity, and idiopathic hypersomnia, only occasionally leading participants to be underweight. Finally, limiting medication-related sodium intake with LXB may have significant health benefits, although this has not yet been verified prospectively. Certain sleep disorders, such as narcolepsy and idiopathic hypersomnia, are associated with increased cardiovascular risk, and reduction in sodium intake is associated with decreased cardiovascular risk. There are several considerations for use of LXB in clinical practice. Patients should have a definite diagnosis of narcolepsy or idiopathic hypersomnia. LXB may not be appropriate for some patients, including those with histories of psychiatric issues or substance abuse. However, a risk evaluation and mitigation strategy program incorporates safeguards to prevent abuse, misuse, and diversion. In conclusion, LXB is a treatment for narcolepsy and idiopathic hypersomnia with promising long-term benefits. Strategies to improve treatment success include proactive and ongoing titration of LXB dosing and regimen to maximize efficacy and tolerability.